We're out here on the UW Band practice field with the man himself, Mike Lacrone, and we want to learn a little bit about the behind the scenes of, of the Wisconsin Band. So let's discuss how you put a field show together for a, a halftime show. Well, you have to start with a theme. Mm -hmm. First thing you do is decide what are we going to what are we going to do? Uh, we just did a show last week called Singer Songwriters because it was about all the people who write their own music now as opposed to the way it used to be. And then you have to write the music. And uh, I love to arrange music, so I take care of that, getting it set. And then once the music is arranged, then you have to put a drill to it so that there is what you might call choreography to, yeah. to what the band does so that you see, get the movement on the field that, that complements and, and coordinates with the music. So that's where you start. And that's all the preparation before you ever get to the field to start teaching it to the kids. And so all of your musicians then learn all of that ahead of time before they come out here? No, no, no. We'll, we'll pass out the music. Well, we pass out the music, let's say, on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And they'll get through the music. We'll start with the charts on Tuesday. We'll finish the charts on Wednesday. And they'll start coordinating it together. And by Thursday, it'll be kind of together. And by the end of Thursday rehearsal, you hope that you only need one more rehearsal before Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about how often you practice then. It's every day of the week? <laughs> we don't practice on Monday. Okay. And that's just by happen chance that when I came here 46 years ago the band was off on Monday I'd love to have Monday back but but it's just the way the class schedule sure. uh, runs so we practice 345 to 530 four days a week and then we usually have an hour practice on Saturday morning just to just to make sure everybody is on the same page all right and so talk a little bit about your upcoming show you're playing for the Packers on Sunday we are playing for the Packers we're doing the singer songwriter show and it's an exciting group to play for because those people up there just love anything that's Wisconsin I mean, they're true, true cheeseheads, and so when we come on the field, we get a reception that's unlike anything we get anywhere. And in our next segment, Brian Dukes and I are going to learn how to do the stop at the top step. Tell us how that got started. Well, uh, there used to be a style called the Big Ten style, which all the Big Ten bands use. That's when there were only ten. Uh, <laughs> and now, and it was, it was a high step. You bring the foot up, and they all did it. When I came here, I, I thought that was a little too fluid, a little mm -hmm. too, too smooth, and so I wanted something that conveyed energy. And so we added something that we call stop at the top where you hesitate as you bring the foot up it's what makes the step hard and it's what but it's what gives the sense of energy to the crowd and so that's probably the hardest thing you'll have to learn today all right well we are looking forward to it how many students are marching in your band well they, we march 250 in okay. the show itself, but then there are another uh, 40 to f about 50 kids that are on the sidelines waiting to get in, and, and sometimes they get that chance unexpectedly. Somebody gets sick, oh, turns sure. an ankle, so they're like the subs that the, the, the team has on the field, so they have to be ready to go in at a moment's notice. So they're at all the rehearsals, too? They have to be, yeah. All right, well, a tremendous history with Wisconsin Marching Band. Thank you so much for uh, telling us a little bit more about it. It's always my pleasure, Amy.